to generate parameter especially for funding of wallet and funding of your e-wallet you will have to log in first and go to manage wallet click on load wallet and it brings you here an amount you wish to pay say 20,000 to come out with your email the email you registered with now your phone number uh, and the name only amount and the payment type will be left for you to select type you select in the branch there used to be other options like card payment and all that but now it's just branch so now expects you to go to a bank branch and make your payment and after that you click on pay that's all look at this it says you will be redirected just wait for it to generate your remitter take you to remitter website for payment immediately this is it you are paying to a national open university and your remitter is here so all you need to do is just copy this this code here this 12 digits code copy them correctly or simply print this print it and take it to the bank you can cut the cost by simply copying this is not necessary now for printing copy this code here take it to a bank branch you can see that beneficiary here it's just like writing someone's name on the teller who are you paying to you write this in the name of the beneficiary where you are, whom you are paying to write the remitter code at the top very boldly at the top of the teller very boldly and so that they will not make any mistakes and your name is it shows your name at the bottom and all that details if you wish to pay online then you have to scroll down select card payment and then proceed like what i want to do here says how do you want to pay come here and say i don't want to go to the bank i want to use card payment at this point it requires that it might be required if now did not receive the payment it might be required that you go to the bank uh, to to your study center with your bank uh, bank statement showing this transaction that you actually made this transaction online i'm going to show you a brief um, difference between the payment you made on, you made on a bank branch and the payment you made online how to easily unlike me i don't need to see remita repeat i don't need uh, uh, remita I don't need to see remitter receipt two times or three times to identify whether it's fake or not. But now uses a modern technology to make such identifications instead of me looking at it because we might uh, misjudge uh, uh, what we by what we see. So when we use electronic judgment, and I will still show you how to, you can easily suspect something on a fake permit. Having remitter receipt is not enough. It does not cover the fraud we are fighting against. So here you write the name exactly as it is written on your MasterCard or Visa card. You cannot make this payment with a VEV card. MasterCard 
uh, Visa card works very perfectly. You fill in this, write the name, the card number, you write the, the, the 20 digits behind the, uh, the card. Then the, the expiry date, just as it's written on the card, it's only the, uh, month and year. The CVV is at the back of the card. If you turn the back, the back of the card, there are three digits there. The back of the MasterCard or, or Visa card, you will see three digits there. You type the three digits here and submit. For the payment to be successful, you must have up to the amount you want to pay. That's number one in your bank account. Then the your bank will now send you OTP one time password. It will be sent to your uh, mobile number, the mobile number you register with your bank for alerts. And then look at the amount here. It has increased. There are charges in almost everything, more charges online. You know, what payments you make online than the one you make at the back branch. There has been extra charge added to this. So you now pick the OTP, the one-time password, from your mobile phone and type it here. Type the, the OTP perfectly and click on pay this amount. So if it is correct and you have this amount in your balance, in your banking balance, it will go through. If not, to fill. But once the payment is successful, Remita will send you. Remita will send you an email with the receipt of the payment. Now, here under name, it will contain your name as it is written exactly on your portal. If it is not exactly, then you suspect a fake funding. Email will be exactly the email you used to register or to get your admission with now, and it's exact, exactly as it is on your portal. Here, those of them making fake payments, they change this email so that you don't actually receive or see what they see. Because ordinarily, if they paid for you, you will not receive this receipt in your email. If they made fake funding for you, you will not receive this you will not receive this receipt from remitter if they made fake payment for you you will not receive this receipt from remitter but if the payment is legit this receipt will come from remitter to your email to the email you registered assuming your email is valid and your phone number will still appear here as it appears on your portal. Take note of that. Let's go down. I will show you something else. If you come down here, it says payment channel. It was to card payment, which we just concluded. It was to card payment. Fake one, they will just come here and write branch or bank branch even though they used card permit that's one mistake they make sometimes and they might watch this video and change the pattern they might write card they might start writing card permit here okay but well look at another one under this authorization reference there is nothing like they, they don't normally include this in fake ones and let me tell you another way to verify this fake payment. You can go to Remita website. That's uh, remita.net. Then go to pay invoice. Look at this pay invoice. If you want to pay any other, make any other payments to now, and you don't know exactly what it is, maybe you don't know how to do it. Um, like a postscript application and all that, you can simply come here and type National Open University. 
look at that it brings up the name so all you need to do is just click national open university look at the code and it will open up with all the available payments you can make online so when you come here you go to pay an invoice type your remitter code click continue it says this reference payment has been processed <laughs> this reference payment has been processed if you enter an invalid remitter code it will tell you that this payment has not or has failed or want to tell you one story or the other but if the payment was legit you will never have any problem with the payment if it says that it has been processed perfect that is it remember also there might be some errors due to network issues during the time you paid I might cause the remitter not to give the exact message it should give here so that's why you shouldn't also rely so much on this but once you see this that that it has been processed there is no need to panic so the next step is to go and check your payment after paying online or paying at the bank then you go back to now portal to check your payment without logging into your portal on that note i advise you watch uh, the video titled wallet funding 2 wallet funding 2 check it on this uh, youtube channel